is five small miniature crafts for Christmas and for the first one I am going to need a few small branches so I went to my garden to see what I could find. These are perfect so I'm going to wash them and dry them all up before I continue. I'm going to cut them on my scroll saw in an angle in one end and straight in the other one. I'm going to paint the Christmas hat of this little face that it is going to be and a few of them I am going to make some red cheeks on. Then I'm going to use a little tiny bit of white for the eyes, the top of the Christmas hat and this little thing around the Christmas hat. You can also make a white fluffy beard on some of these. Using a black color, I am going to make a little nose on them. And I'm using my dotting tool to make the pupils. And also for giving them a tiny smile. If you want to, you can use a tiny bit of powdered snow effect on the bottom of these so they look as if they have been into the snow. And now the small wood Santas are all done. You can find a lot of things on my homepage and this printed gift wrap page is one of them. I printed that out and made the inside for the gift ready. You can use a piece of paper that you fold or just a wooden piece. As the most of us know how to wrap a gift, I'm not going to show that right here. Then I took some ribbon and I cut a piece of it, wrapped it around the gift one way, and I wrapped a piece again the other way around the gift. And on this one, I'm going to wrap the corners with the ribbon and I'm going from corner to corner and I'm gluing it on. Now I'm going to make a ribbon bow and for that I have this tool that is a normal wood stick where I drilled a small hole and I glued a needle inside so that the head of the needle is glued into the hole that I drilled into this wood piece. I put the ribbon onto the needle and I'm going to glue close to the needle, turn the ribbon around and put the needle through it again. I do this a few times until I think my bow is starting to be fluffy enough. Then I cut off the ribbon in the length and I am folding over the top of the ribbon and I'm stepping now two pieces through the needle. Make sure you glue this really good and leave it to dry. Do not peel it off the needle before it's all dry. When it's dry you can take it off the needle and you can glue it onto your gifts. 
or maybe something else that you like to have a bow on. You can use these just as you want to. That's it for this little gift with a bow. So now let's continue with the next craft. I made these small 3D paper figurines for Christmas and I'm going to cut them out. I actually, I actually made these ones in three sizes. The smallest one and a middle one that you see here, but I also made a bigger one that you can use for yourself. I also made these so you can paint some of them for yourself if you want them in other colors than the ones I delivered here. Just do like I showed here and glue them together and you have these small paper figurines that you can use for decorations. So these are a very simple craft. You can find a download link in the info box below. Then I made this print sheet with two kinds of bounces on it. I don't know if that's the right word for these, but that was all that I could find out. In Denmark they are called Sprallemann. So, well, here we are going to make the angel first. If you are really good you can make it so it is working, but I'm not that good in that small size of this. So I'm just gluing everything together so it looks like it really works. I'm taking a piece of a sewing string, making a knot in one end and cutting it off so it's not that long. And I'm going to glue that on the back side of this little thing. Normally you would connect the wings and the feet with a tiny pin or what it is called. So I'm just taking my Inca gold and I'm making a tiny dot where they are normally going to be connected so it looks like it actually is working. I'm making a tiny hole at the top of the angel to put a string, again a piece of sewing thread, through it so that I have something to hang her in. I thought she was a little too plain so I found this glitter glue that I had lying around and I'm going to use a tiny bit of this to make her a little more sparkly. And now for the center, I'm going to cut him out and then I'm going to glue him together so he looks right. And I am going to put on the string again and I make the little hole in his head for a sewing thread that I can hang him in. And then of course I'm going to use my Inca gold for the connection spot and a tiny bit of glitter to make him extra sparkly. And again, you can find the print file for this in the info box below. I made these two bouncer in a big size as well, so you can use that for yourself if you want to. So that's all there is for this video. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.